everybody, Carter AK is here and today we will be making a piano sampler written with Python. You can hear how the finished application will sound. So where we start? This Christmas I have received an awesome gift from my family, a Korg Micro Key MIDI controller. I planned to use it along with the Jazz Piano Trainer program I made before. But unfortunately it didn't work as expected. With my other MIDI controller I was able to use a single MIDI input in a contact player and my Jazz Piano Trainer, but this controller refuses to work like that. So what should I do? Stop using this controller? No way! I will create my own piano sampler. Not like that one, of course, but it will be enough for me. So let's check Wikipedia and read the definition for a sampler. A sampler is an electronic or digital musical instrument, which uses sound recordings or samples of real instrument sounds like a piano. The samples are loaded and then played back by MIDI keyboard or another triggering device. Now let's find some real piano sounds. University of Iowa has recordings of Steinway and Sons Model B Grand Piano. Please consider supporting the university. That will help them to make some new projects. We will need to download all the sound files. Then we will need to perform some cleanup. The sound length is too big for us, so we will split it. Also, we will remove a pause before the actual sound. When all of these audio files are treated, we can start coding. We will be using MIDI and RT MIDI libraries to handle the MIDI input from a MIDI controller. The Pi game library will be used to play audio samples. Let's see how the sampler application was implemented. Here we are importing MIDI and Pi game libraries, a constant that defines our polyphonic for the sampler. It will tell Pi game how many channels we will need to create. The main sampler class that holds all sound and play them on request. Here we define a cycle that will load audio samples and map them to a MIDI note IDs. The play method will play a sound for a given MIDI note ID. Also we have a velocity parameter that sets the sound's volume. The velocity setting can be ignored when the sampler started with an ignore velocity command line parameter. The stop method will stop a playing sound for a given note ID. To reduce cracking we will use fade out. Also, we can increase the fade out time to emulate a sustained pedal. This setting can be enabled by running the sampler with sustained command line parameter. The note handler function is called every time we will receive a MIDI event. For now, we will handle only note on and note off events. And based on the event type, we will play or stop a given audio file. Here is the startup code that will check all command line parameters and set ignore velocity and sustain options for the sampler. Next we will initialize sampler. This line will output all MIDI inputs in the system, so you know how your MIDI controller input is named. Here we will hardcode the input name that should be used. Mine is Korg Micro Key 37. Of course that could be done with a user input, but that's another story and for me it is much easier to run the sampler with the hardcoded value. And the last one, we are trying to open a MIDI input port and assign a callback function for MIDI events. A dummy loop to run the application and give some extra time for our CPU. So that's all. Let's run the sampler without any command line parameters. This way the key's velocity will be used and no sustained pedal effect will be applied. I really hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas for your own future projects. If you want to see more, please do not hesitate to leave your comments and questions down below. Also please don't forget to subscribe. I will put a link to the GitHub repository for the project 
in the description for the video. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.